Believe it or not, this Cook County Sheriff's truck is essentially powered by vegetable oil. The emission that biodiesel produces gets absorbed by nature. A new program at Cook County Jail gives inmates the opportunity to make biodiesel fuel derived from vegetable oil, with a little help from chemistry. This is our biodiesel. This is our usable product. We could run any diesel engine on this product here. Corrections officer Tony Lordo first explored the idea in January with a homemade kit. We started out by making small batches. We didn't have this processor up until a few months ago. Prior to that, I had to scavenge pieces and bits and baubles throughout the county in order to make my own processor, and this just makes it so much easier. The program's first class is made up of three inmates, one man under probation, and another man in the jail's work alternative program. Okay. The process actually starts in the officer dining hall, where vegetable oil used to fry food is wheeled away to eventually make fuel. The used cooking oil is filtered for any bits of food. Next comes an important process called transesterification. Vegetable oil contains triglycerides, chemical compounds composed of three fatty acids and a glycerol. When the vegetable oil reacts with alcohol in the presence of a catalyst, in this case potassium hydroxide, the chemical reaction produces biodiesel and glycerin, a byproduct which sits at the bottom of the tank and is separated. Look how thick and dark that is. Officer Lordo plans to boost the group's environmental impact by eventually making fertilizer and hand soap from the glycerin. So you need nine gallons of alcohol now because the strength is less or no. Inmate Harris Codius plans to put the education and experience to use. Uh, it's definitely, you know, better use of my time than what I'd usually be doing. You know, it's, it's awesome to learn something like this that I can use when I get out of here. I work in restaurants and uh, would like to get into doing a food truck business, so this is something that I could use in the future. The jail's biodiesel fuel program takes place in its mental health transition center. This is where detainees receive job training and therapy. Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart started the center five years ago. Before then, this site was actually a boot camp. I understand there's evil in this world, and that there's people in our custody who've done horrific things that are going down to prison for the rest of their lives. I get that. Um, there's the much larger group of people who are going to be here for a temporary period of time and are not going down to the prison system. 85% of the people that come into the jail go right back to the community. They don't go down to prison. That being the case, I've always seen it as our job, our challenge, whatever you want to call it, is to work with them both on sort of the mental side of it, whether it's mental health issues or not, it might be educational issues, but things that affect their mind and the way they think. Potassium or the sodium hydroxide. Inmate Fernellis bigelow Lighty says the activity improves his outlook. I wouldn't be in the same place or even be able to smile and that type of stuff if I was stuck in the cell all day. And um, even coming out, it's just not the same thing. Being able to actually do this, learn about this, learn something new. I think that's, for me personally, that's the hardest thing is that there's no stimulation while we're locked up. TV, but I don't consider that stimulating. So um, this is really incredible. Once the biodiesel is bottled up, it's ready to go in the fuel tank. The sheriff's office estimates the program could save the jail up to $20,000 a year and plans to grow the operation. We have two vehicles currently that are running on it full time. We have two other vehicles that are going to be running on it shortly. And we're looking to expand this to, God willing, the fleet. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Evan Garcia.